Hey, it's Evan. Um, I'm going to be showing you several different tricks that we can do in front of your Christmas tree. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is it's basically where you hold your camera when you're in front of your Christmas tree. You hold your camera out in front of you and then you take a picture and then you move the camera and then you let go and stop the picture from taking place. So, in order to do this trick, um, you're going to want to put your camera to manual mode and then set your shutter speed to bulb mode and then set your aperture to somewhere between um, 2.8 to at 5.6 somewhere in between there. For this example I'm probably going to be using 3.5. Then for your ISO you're going to want ISO 200 that's what I'm using anyway. And for your white balance you're going to be wanting daylight and the reason because is because we're using a pop-up flash and we are also we also have some yellow incandescent lighting in here so daylight is a good mediator between those two and I found that that works best when we're doing stuff like this um, then after you've got all those settings on your camera um, you're going to want to shut off your all the lights in the room except the Christmas tree. Then what you do is you sit down in, in a spinning chair like this and you turn your autofocus on because usually most cameras have an AF assist lamp. It's a little light in front of the camera that glows that helps the camera focus. So you're just going to go in front of your Christmas tree, focus on your face, and then take the picture and move. Just like that. Just how you saw. And what that does is give you, it gives you effects like this. That's pretty cool, huh? So the next trick, though, is even better. What we're going to do is instead of just holding the camera still, what we're going to do is have our camera zoomed all the way out. By the way, I'm using an 18 to 55 millimeter lens set on 18. It's, it's uh, very important to have wide angle lenses when you're doing stuff like this. It always helps. So yeah, if you've got a zoom lens, uh, 18 to 55 is perfect. An 18 to, to 200 might even be better, I don't know. But basically, you start out at 18 and then while you're spinning, you zoom the camera. You twist, basically you hold your camera lens and then while you're moving, you move the camera so it, it um, spins around the lens basically. And what that will do is it will zoom in and spin at the exact same time and it will give you an effect like this. Now the next effect is to get your Christmas tree uh, looking very pretty, and to do that, you are going to need a star filter. These are also known as cross filters. Um, and basically, there's a bunch of pre-cut lines on the glass, and um, some filters have like many lines cut in different directions, and some have fewer. It's up to you about which one you want. This is a 6x filter. So basically you just screw it on your lens and then all it does is it takes the light coming from these little pinpoints and it will dice them up so the, the light spreads out across the lines that are cut into the glass on this filter. So I'm using an 18 millimeter lens, ISO 1600 and the white balance is at uh, incandescent. So. Bam! That was way too bright.
if you're into abstracts, you can simply place your camera close up to the tree on bulb mode and then just, you know, take pictures like that and you'll get crazy lines everywhere. Like, it's just insane of how cool this stuff is. And you can also use the same twist effect um, on your Christmas tree if you want to. And another thing you can do is just take these lights off the Christmas tree and just photograph them when they're all clumped up together. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, it's pretty, you can do so many different things. So, yeah, those are the three things that I wanted to show you. The spinning trick, where you go like this. The spinning and zoom trick, where you go like this. And the uh, star filter and also the abstracts. So, happy holidays. Share your pictures down below in the comments. Uh, rate this video, comment to this video, subscribe.